And I'm pleased to say that Patrick Bamford is waiting to speak to us. Congratulations, Patrick, on the victory and on 100 career goals. That must feel great. Yeah, to be honest, I think the, the most important thing is getting the three points. But it's nice to hit 100. I mean, it's probably long overdue, but it's nice to get there. We might come to that, but let's talk about the team first then. Um, what did you like about the performance and, and how important was it, you think, that you, you managed to get a victory at home as well? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's important to try and make your, your home ground like a fortress. I mean, it's kind of difficult with our pitch at the minute. We almost suit playing away better, but um, we had to concentrate to the maximum tonight and um, we were relentless and we didn't give up and we saw it through to the end, so it was well deserved. Do you think the pitch, the new pitch, is, is helping? <laughs> uh, um, it's, just, it's, like, it's better. Um, it's, it's hard to stand up, that's all I'll say. Just tell us what, what actually, have you had to change your footwear? Or are you, what, um, what sort of boots are you wearing right now? No, it's still wearing studs, it's just um, I had to basically put rugby studs in half time. <laughs> rugby studs? <laughs> Patrick, can you give us an insight in what it's like to play as the striker for a, a Bielsa team? You wouldn't be in the team just for goals. There's got to be a lot more to your game. What does the, the manager demand from you? Uh, Non-stop running. Um, that's the first thing. That's first and foremost, really. I think you've got to give 100%. Um, your first job is to defend as a striker, which I know it sounds strange, but um, you have to provide that defensive kind of pressure at the, at the start of the, the playing out for them and um, that makes it easier for our defenders to kind of read the game. So if I don't do that and teams kind of play through us. So the defending starts with me, that's the first thing. And then constantly mixing it up, never standing still, trying to come short, go long, go long, come short, just keep mixing it up. And it's physically demanding and I'm not going to lie, I can't do it 90 minutes all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I have to have a little walk, but um, it, it pays off. I mean, he's, he developed me into a much stronger per, per, person and player than I was before I joined. Well, it's certainly paying off with the goals, 12 Premier League goals this season. There's, there's a lot of English strikers in the, uh, in the Premier League this season who have maybe not been involved in England squads before. Is that something you look at yourself and think, you know, one of us could make a late call? I'm thinking of maybe Callum Wilson, uh, Danny Ings, Ollie Watkins. Is, is that something you look at in the summer? Um, yeah, I think that if you'd have said that at the start of the season, I'd have kind of brushed it off and said you're mad. Um, but I think now it's, uh, people talk about it and it's good if you're getting talked about, I guess. But as you said, there is uh, four or five strikers who've, who've not really been involved with England before, well, a lot of times, and um, they're all doing really well. So I think it's just going to be it's going to be interesting to see who does get called up. And to be honest, if I do, if I don't, I know I've, I've done my best and I think that whoever does get called up fully deserves it, whether it's me or any of the others. Well, let's talk about you and the club. You've got 12 Premier League goals now. The club are into 10th place. Did you and the, the team set targets for this season? I think, yeah, I know it sounds really kind of cliche and every team coming up says it, that you just want to stay in the league. But after being out of the league for 16 years, I think that it's important for a big club like Leeds to just kind of get a footing in the league again and then build from that. And, I think we've outdone ourselves, to be honest, coming up, and I think we took a lot of teams by surprise. Um, but it's, it's no, no more than we deserve. I think that in, in sometimes some patches of the season we've been brilliant. I think sometimes we've let ourselves down as well. So it's that consistency, but it definitely bodes well for the future for Leeds. And I've got to ask you, Patrick, after what you said last week, uh, have you got Rafinha in your fantasy team? You know what? I don't, but I captain myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> So that's bonus point. Let me tell you, after I missed that one in the first half, I was kicking myself, so I'm glad I scored. <laughs> you know you're going to get asked this every week now, don't you? You do realise that. But I have to say, Rafinha's numbers are stacking up. Yeah, Rafinha's brilliant. I think, uh, to be honest, he's, he's been a steal for Leeds. I'm, I'm surprised. As soon, as soon as he came in and you saw him in training, you know sometimes with players whether they're, they're good or they're, they're top class, and he really was, like, he stood out straight away. So I'm surprised that bigger teams more established Premier League teams, I should say, um, haven't taken a punt on him because he really is something special and he's still young. Marcelo's interpreter won't like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> you better not put that one in there. <laughs> uh, it's been a joy to talk to you, Patrick. Congratulations. Cheers. Honestly, rugby studs, was it, at half-time? 
Yeah, near enough. Not quite, but they were bloody long. <laughs> I mean, really long. So. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly worked. You scored and got your 100th goal. Well yeah. done. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Cheers.